the idea of blood circulation had already crossed deserts and empires long before the Renaissance. In Cairo, Ibn al-Nafis revealed that blood passes through the lungs, not hidden holes, before returning to the heart with air. In Mongol Tabriz, scholars preserved Cairo's wisdom. Ibn al-Nafis's anatomy quietly entered the Persian world. Across the Mongol Empire, Persian doctors brought the pulse of Avicenna and the hidden logic of Ibn al-Nafis to China. At Kublai's court, Persian medicine met Chinese tradition, a fusion where air, blood, and qi began to intertwine. Centuries later, Li Shijian described blood moving out and back again, perhaps echoing a journey that began in Cairo. Jesuit scholars learned China's pulse diagnosis and Li Shijian's anatomy from the Compendium of Materia Medica, bringing them back to Europe, where East once again taught the West to listen to the body's circulation.